It's Umsum time! What if everyone became a baby again? No big deal. Umsum is already a baby. Oh, Umsum. If everyone became a baby again, bosses will have no option but to do all the work now. Huh? Mm. We may start hearing baby crying noises from everywhere. Mm. We may start fighting over toys again. Huh? Hmm. We may have to learn how to walk again. Hmm. We may not be allowed to use mobiles anymore. Mm. We may not be allowed to watch late night television anymore. Mm. We may have to switch back to drinking milk from a baby bottle. Hmm. Even superheroes huh? will become babies. Hmm. Now instead of gold, uh -huh. thieves may start stealing candies. Huh? Yippee! Hmm. Even aliens may start experimenting on themselves to become a baby again. <laughs> hmm. To buy Umsum merchandise, visit umsum.com. What if you fall into quicksand? No problem. I am quicker than quicksand. Oh, um, some. <laughs> quicksand is a waterlogged mixture of sand, clay, and salt. It is a non-Newtonian fluid. That is, it changes its thickness or viscosity depending on the stress applied on it. So, an undisturbed quicksand appears and acts like a solid. Huh? But when we step on it, our weight increases the stress. Hence, it starts behaving like a liquid, huh? thus causing us to sink. However, we will not huh? fully sink into quicksand. Why? Mm -hmm. Firstly, because quicksand is usually not very deep. Secondly, it is believed that quicksand is a bit denser than humans. So what? Hmm. In an experiment, experts prepared aluminum beads huh? which had similar density as humans. Oh. When they placed those beads in quicksand and moved them to mimic the action of a panicked human, the beads sank, but only halfway, thus indicating that we will not completely sink in quicksand. Mm. What is sleep oh. apnea? The ability to sleep 24 7. Huh? No. Sleep apnea is a sleep disorder in which breathing is repeatedly interrupted during sleep. There are three types of sleep oh. apnea. First is obstructive sleep apnea in which the muscles and soft tissues present at the back of our throat relax and collapse, blocking the breathing passage and thus preventing the inhaled air from reaching the lungs. Second is central sleep apnea in which our brain fails to send appropriate signals to the muscles that control breathing. Now, although the breathing passage is open, the muscles don't perform their tasks, hence breathing stops. Third is mixed sleep apnea in which a person suffers from obstructive sleep apnea as well as central sleep apnea. Now, in all the above three types, lack of oxygen and shortness of breath trigger our brain to wake us up from sleep so that we can start breathing again. How do hormones work? They are lazy like me. Not at all. In our body, there is an ah. endocrine system which consists of several glands. These glands secrete various hormones and release them usually into the bloodstream. Now, our cells have specialized receptors on them. A hormone will attach only if there is a receptor for that hormone, <laughs> ensuring that just the target cells get stimulated. When the cells get stimulated, specific processes in the cells increase or decrease, Ooh. thus helping us regulate our heartbeat, blood pressure, body temperature, sleep, etc., thus maintaining our health. For example, if blood sugar level drops, pancreas will secrete a hormone called glucagon. Glucagon will attach <laughs> to receptors of liver cells and instruct them to convert stored glycogen into glucose, thus increasing our <laughs> blood sugar levels. 
Thus, hormones are super important for our body. <laughs> what is gigantism? Mm. It's the nickname of my friend, the Great Hulk. <laughs> nah. In our brain, a pea-sized structure called the pituitary gland produces growth hormone, helping regulate and increase our height, girth, weight, etc. Hmm. However, in some ah. rare conditions, a non-cancerous tumor in the pituitary gland can trigger it to produce far more growth hormone than the body requires, leading to a large, tall stature and thus ah. causing gigantism. <laughs> One example of this condition is Igor Volkovinsky, the current tallest man in the United States. His height is 7 feet oh. 8.33 inches. Hmm. According to experts, in such cases, the internal organs might become much bigger than their normal size. <laughs> However, on the flip side, gigantism may lead to deformities in the muscles and bones, making it difficult for the person to perform daily tasks <laughs> like walking, running, etc. Which is better, hot shower or cold shower? No shower is the um sum mantra. Hmm. So gross. <laughs> Let's have a look at the advantages of cold showers first. As we are warm blooded, the sudden Ooh. sensation of cold water awakens our body, thus making us ah. feel fresh and alert. Secondly, many scientists believe that when our body suddenly Ooh. comes in contact with cold water, it sends a jolt of electrical impulses to our brain, helping boost our ah. mood in the process. Lastly, cold showers may contribute to weight loss as our body might burn more fat uh -huh. to generate heat. Hot showers have the following advantages. Firstly, scientists believe that hot showers lead to the release of a hormone called oxytocin, easing anxiety ah. and stress. Secondly, as hot showers can help clear the nasal passage, they might be beneficial for a person suffering from cold. Thirdly, hot water can help release tension and stiffness in our muscles. Lastly, hot water can kill bacteria, thus preventing infections. Hmm. What causes swelling? Dreaming about balloons causes swelling. <laughs> nah. Swelling, or edema, usually occurs when tiny blood vessels leak fluids into the surrounding tissues. Huh? Some causes of edema are as follows. Hmm. Firstly, our liver releases a protein called albumin into the bloodstream. Albumin keeps fluids from leaking out of the blood vessels. However, in a serious liver condition called cirrhosis, it cannot produce enough albumin. Without albumin, our body can't prevent fluids from leaking, thus causing swelling. Huh? Secondly, in nephrotic syndrome, the filtering parts of kidneys called glomeruli get damaged, uh -huh. causing excess loss of proteins like albumin, hmm. thus leading to swelling. Thirdly, growing uterus can put pressure on the veins present in the legs of pregnant women, causing blood to pool, gradually forcing fluids to leak, and thus causing swelling. However, not all swelling is bad because during an infection, excess fluids and immune cells reach the infected site to fight germs. This can also cause ah. swelling, but in this case, it is good for our body. Hmm. Why do we shrink uh -huh. with age? Because we want to become Ant-Man. No. There are various reasons behind this. Firstly, our spine consists of fluid-filled discs placed in between bones called vertebrae. But as the years pass by, these discs begin to lose fluid and degrade, causing them to flatten. As a result, the distance between the vertebrae decreases, thus decreasing our height and making us shorter. Hmm. Secondly, as we age, many of us suffer from osteoporosis. This makes our bones so weak that they develop microfractures. Now, as most of these fractures happen in the front of our vertebrae, it causes forward rounding of our back, a condition called kyphosis. This gives us a stooped oh. posture, thus making us look hmm. shorter. Lastly, as aging also causes loss of muscle mass, especially in the abdomen, it can make us slouch. Hence, this can also lead to a stooped posture, thus giving oh. us an appearance of being shorter. Hmm. Should we work out when we have cold? We should just chill and have milkshakes. 
You wish. Yes, one may work out, but for shortened duration and with reduced intensity if symptoms are above the neck, as in common cold, stuffy nose, sneezing, or jaw pain. As these symptoms are minor, one can take appropriate cold-related medicines and then put in mild exercise with proper care. Note that light or moderate physical activity may help open up the nasal passageway, thus helping us feel better. But on the flip side, there is a chance of spreading germs or viruses to others. On the other hand, if the symptoms are below the neck, as in fever, vomiting, cough, shortness of breath, etc., then one should not exercise. Our body needs rest in this case. Hence, one should not overwork as it will make it difficult to recover and may also lead to fatigue or dizziness.